Hello and welcome to another live stream. It's my uh, usual greeting that I send out to you. I thank you very much for uh, joining me today. So, um, what will we do today? It will be a uh, short, uh, spontaneous live stream, like always, and uh, I'm going to show you the brand new, um, recently updated version of the. Airbus um, white body prologue from black box simulations and um, as I uh, have purchased this add-on a long time ago I am now going to uh, show it to you and I'm just going to do a quick sound check and a uh, stream check just to see if uh, everything's working correctly so if you have any problems with the stream just uh, just let me know and just write it in the channel so that I can uh, that I can check that and uh, yeah okay so let's uh, take a look at the airplane um, we are currently this is the state of the airplane when you load it up first so unfortunately I couldn't find a Swiss uh, livery so I um, I chose a Singapore uh, livery, which you can take a look right now. Engines are running, and if when you uh, load up this airplane for the first time, you will have two problems. Uh, probably, uh, it, it tells you the sim aircraft exceeds the maximum takeoff weight. It's probably always the case, and the sim is not calibrated. So, the first thing we'll do is uh, I'm going to select the fuel and payload, and uh, I don't want to have a fully loaded airplane so I'm going to uh, reload the airplane Let's give it a little less passion passenger hold and I'm not going to give it uh, a full a full fuel load so I'm going to change that center one center two oh, let's see 67% that's still a lot um, so I'm going to reduce that further we have 30% yeah that should do the trick okay 50% is good and yeah the sim is not calibrated so we're going to do that in a minute check where is it oh, okay okay you can click on the MCDU menu and uh, you have to click on black box configuration oh they have a ground services option now that doesn't work okay uh, Oh no, you have to put input calibration. I'm sorry. Throttle mode. Separate. That's the one I want. And uh, I'm going to move the throttles now. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I have to disengage the engines first. Okay. So I have them all in idle position now, and you just click on set, and then I'm going to move. Ah, uh, I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have any power left. Of course. Okay, so we'll switch the APU on and the APU bleed. So let's take a look if this will work.
IRS is aligned, that's good. So I wonder, okay, there's my power. Okay, so let's continue with the calibration. Okay, so they're all on idle now. Perfect. And I'm going to move them up to full power. And set, 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 and set. Why can I set this one? Oh, okay. Okay. So they're all working now. Yeah, perfect. Okay. That's the one we needed. And um, I'm going to do an FMGC reset because I had problems in the A320 add on, and that's what they um, told me to do in the support. And we're going, we are currently at Schwerin Airport, which is kind of odd because I've never been there before. But um, I wanted to do this uh, with the, um, actually I wanted to do this with a Swiss Airbus A340 because I uh, searched, I did a quick search of uh, YouTube and uh, I saw that they are, um, Well, they are. Oh, that's, I'm sorry, that's too, too high. Uh, they went to Schwerin Airport and um, did touch and go trainings there. So, uh, what is happening now? Yeah, and they did uh, touch and go trainings there, and I wanted to show that to you. So. Unfortunately, there is no Swiss livery yet available, but I will Oh, no, it's working. Okay. Um, yeah We'll take a look at that, but yeah, as I said before, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm always concentrating a little bit here um, Wind is coming from 29024 no transition Insert and arrival also on ILS24 insert. So, well, okay. So, yeah, what I wanted to say is uh, Swiss, I, I, I found a YouTube video and uh, Swiss is doing touch and go trainings in uh, Schwerin Airport with the A330, uh, A340 for the pilots that are converting to this type. So, I, I yeah, I kind of wanted to show you. Yeah, that's okay. No, that's not good. Yeah, it's a bit fiddly, all this, but. Okay, so transition altitude is 5,000. We won't need that. I am going to go for flaps 2 and a trim of up 0.2. I'm just guessing this. I have no... Um, yeah, now he's filling in with a right click. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, I will now just uh, uh, tell you what I wanted to tell you before I found a video on YouTube of Swiss doing touch-and-go trainings uh, in uh, Schwerin Airport for all the pilots that want to uh, go on to fly the A340 and I wanted to show you that I wanted to simulate that I know I cannot simulate it uh, realistically but I'm trying to do my best here so we are pretty much configured for Okay, that's weird. The click spots, they are pretty bad. What is happening here? Okay, wing light is working. Beacon is working. Ah, okay. Okay. This is working this way. Okay. 
nav. I'm also going to switch on the... Okay, they did change that, actually. Yeah, they did. They did. They, they did a they did an update about this. This uh, this didn't work in the former versions. So yeah, I'm just going to do the pushback manually na manually now. And I am going to start engine number one. Now let's take a look how this works. Okay. Going for flaps too. Okay, engine number two. I think I can also change the display performance. Okay. Whatever. And the last engine. Okay, ground spoilers armed. I will be controlling the speed. Whatever, he doesn't do what I want. Hmm. The controls are you know, rather fiddly. Okay, now they work. Okay, so last engine is good. Yeah. Okay, so we have a good start. And we are going to... Set the pitch trim to up 0 0.2, and we're going to do the control surfaces check full up, neutral, full down, neutral, full right, neutral, full left, neutral. Okay, while well the speed brakes now extended. Okay, 
now it's working and the rudder working fine okay yeah it's a black box sure I'm going to show you the fl uh, the airplane from outside in a minute I just have to check if this still steering tiller is active okay so now let's take a look Okay, so steering tiller is working perfectly. We're going to do the taxi to the runway now. Okay, I'm going to go for a flap 3 landing. I don't know where. Okay, so let's break it down a little bit here. Okay, so um, at this point, oh, there's a question: From where to where is the flight today? Well, I'm I'm only doing touch and goes in uh, in uh, Schwerin, Schwerin Airport. So, from what I can tell you so far, is that um, well, what I really like is they updated the virtual cockpit. The virtual cockpit looks in my opinion much better now they also uh, added functionalities like with the what I can uh, just immediately tell you is that they um, added functionality to the light switches functionalities that they that weren't there before so they they updated that and what I can also tell you here from the from being at the controls it uh, this really feels like you are actually taxiing a heavy airliner so this really is it, it's you have to give a lot of thrust but not too much so that you don't, uh, don't get too fast so this is very delicate actually and it's a good feeling so you really feel you're at the helm of a uh, heavy a heavy airplane so this is kind of the first impression is um, is kind of good I have to say what I have to add is that um, they have a um, they have a dedicated prepared compati compatibility and uh, they have a dedicated load manager and what so far what I can tell from the comments in the on their Facebook page uh, is that the load manager seems to make some problems I couldn't use it as well it uh, aborted with an error but uh, it's it's not a it's not a it's not a, a game changer or a uh, showstopper because uh, you can do the you can do the load man or you can manage your load in uh, uh, in the simulator itself. So yeah, that's the, the first bug I, I encountered, but it's not a it's not a showstopper. Apart from that, it's it's uh, it's really really good working so far. 
So a little bit of brakes. You shouldn't do turns with more than 10 knots, actually. Okay, so we are at the runway here. And we are going to switch on the lights here. Taxi, runway turn off, strobes, and wing lights. So let's take a look how this looks. Yeah, that's what I really like about the new add-ons is that the strobe lights are reflecting, that you can really see the lights. This is something that is really does a lot for the immersion. So I really like that. Okay, I'm doing a very sharp and fast turn here, so... Well, yeah, we're going to halt here because the, the runway, as you can see, is rather short. It's about three, three kilometers long, and I'm going to align here. Reduce the thrust to idle. And we are ready to go. The one thing I don't like is that he doesn't let me manage the speed. Okay, so I would say let's go. Oh, uh, take off config. Mm, doesn't work, I think. Okay, and where's the functionality for the the uh, flap three landing? Does does the A three forty have something like that, or am I just too dumb to notice? Flap mode. Whatever. Okay. Okay, so let's spool the engines up. Going to 50%. Okay, I'm getting a lot of rudder active. Okay, I, I forgot to activate the rudder. How's it rate gear up? Lever climb. So autopilot, 210 knots should be good. The pain in the ass. 4,000 feet should be good, and we're already doing our left turn and reducing the flaps and uh... yeah to one hundred and fifty The APU is still on, I can switch that off, of course. Okay, we have wing flex, of course. Have to have that with such a big airplane. What I really like uh, about this Airbus is, and, and it puts some 
a little bit I don't like the window reflection here though this is this looks weird and, and out of place but whatever uh, yeah what I like about the, this Airbus is that you have you can easily detach the windows here you can see that here I just have to yeah like this which is very convenient when you are doing uh, instrument approaches and and you have the the big screens that's that's very that's very nice why is this airplane flying so fast dude I don't want to fly 200 doesn't let me manage the speed ground spoilers away so yeah what I wanted to tell you is that you have a 2d cockpit don't have a lot of add-ons that provide this so that's something I, I really enjoy and I think it's a you know um, you have so many you have so many people that are still using two 2D cockpits and are still flying airplanes with 2D cockpits. So I think that's that's a nice turn from Black Box that they are still providing that. And um, yeah, so far no major bugs or glitches. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong with the the speed uh, management, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong with the altitude because the altitude is somehow not really matching whatever okay this is not working let me take a look I, maybe I'm doing something wrong I'm going to check the weather report for ED for uh, Echo Delta Oscar Papa And yeah, we can do the left turn now. The altimeter is nine or no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, right click speed knob, I know, but it's not somehow for. Oh, there are some graphical glitches here. So I want to find out how I can change the this ah there we go okay now it should work I'm sorry, it's still not good. The the actual Q and H is zero nine seven eight. Yeah, now it's matching, and he tells us that this is not matching. Of course, it's not. Oh, this 
pain in the ass. Here we go, now it's matching. And the altitude is matching, that's wonderful, okay. Um, yeah, press B didn't work. <laughs> but thank you guys, so I, I, I pressed B but it didn't work. But now it's matching, so it's okay. Okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to do touch and goes in Schwerin. And we are actually almost ready to, to do our turn into... the approach of the ILS. So I'm going to take a look at the FMC. Performance. Temperature is... Temperature is in my is zero. Zero. And we have a wind of two nine zero zero nine. Decision height. Let's make it two hundred because we have a big airplane. Radio. Config three. Okay. I hope he uh, gets that. Okay. Yeah, and we are going to activate the approach phase. And we will be turning right now. Slow down to 180 knots. Uh, wing view, I don't know. Spot aircraft. Left wing. Right wing. Okay guys, so bear with me. I hope you can forgive me a bad landing because I've never landed this thing before. So let's see where this will take us. We have an approach speed of 142 knots. I'm very curious about how this will turn out.
All right, so we are going. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm so ah, this is very fiddly. Ah. Okay now. <laughs> okay, so we are going to change a little bit here. And I'm going to Yeah the throttles are very sensitive, so this is why he gives me this error message of uh Throttle's not really being in alignment. going to arm the approach mode now I <sighs> don't know where don't know what's wrong with the throttles sorry for that Yeah, the A three thirty six hundred is is uh, in this add-on. It's uh, contained in this add-on, and if you want, I can show it to you later. Okay, localizer is captured. slope is captured okay so flaps three gear down and slow down to approach speed you know what this is somehow we are not aligned to the runway I don't like that and I can't see the runway which is bad and the throttle sound is really annoying Okay, now it's working. Yeah. Ah, this is. I have to give it a, a bigger null zone. Okay, dudes, where's the runway? You can't see it. <laughs> this is crazy. Outer marker. Okay, we are really not aligned to the runway. There seems to be something wrong with the. Uh, let's see if I can correct this. I don't think so, actually. One thousand. Yeah, I don't think I can. 
I will try, but if I'm not stable, I will go around. Yeah, yeah, Light whatever. Slow. Light slow. Light slow. 400. Well, it's a bit unstable, guys, but I'm going to try it, I think. I'm still not at decision height, so... 300. Ah, oh, this is unstable, this is unstable, this is unstable. Minimum. Yeah, okay, continue. 200. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to try it. I'm a little bit to the... 100. No, this is unstable. I'm going around. I'm sorry guys, this was more than unstable. Okay, so I'm going to try to put the, the null zone a little bit up. I think double is good. And I'm going to reduce to climb power now. Okay, this is working better now a lot better yeah I think so too there's a comment here that says uh, the steering uh, looks a little bit how can I say this in English oh, a little bit laggy a little bit unprecise and it really is I, I couldn't get the the roll out of the airplane so but in defense uh, of the add-on I, I, I have to say that I w uh, that was a very very unstable approach so um, yeah, don't think we can blame all on the add-on. <laughs> Spongy, yeah. Okay, so I will try another touch and go. And uh, I will show the... Who was interested in the A340? Fireflash, you were interested in the A340-600. So yeah, we're going to show you that too. But I will do a touch and go first. Because I really want to try with this airplane, you know. And I, it's a pity that there's no Swiss livery. Not that I not that I don't like the Singapore livery. Of course not, but um, yeah. I would have preferred a, a Swiss livery. I think Swiss is such a... I think they have an A330 li Swiss livery. But whatever. Hey, and I gotta tell you, so far, 
despite all the criticism that Black Box uh, had to endure in the last months, they, I think, I think they did a great job with this airplane. I, I, I'm having fun with it. You know? I mean, I know it's not perfect, and I know that it's a steep price policy that they're uh, um, that they are following. But you know, so far uh, with this add-on, they are having. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun. Hey, and what is new in 0 0.8? Is the question in the chat. Well, I don't have a ch an, a an exact uh, uh, change log yet. To be honest, I can't tell you exactly what is new but I can tell you that um, but I can tell you that they did a, an overhaul of the virtual cockpit and they did uh, add some functionality and I think they also did Add, uh, they did something about the primary flight display and the navigation display, so I think they uh, updated that too. Okay, Black Box is uh, uh, already providing a solution for the bug that I mentioned, the load manager bug. I'm just scrolling through there. I'm just scrolling through their web, uh, their Facebook page right now. So they seem to have provided or a bug fix already. Let me take a look at it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they provided a. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try that out actually. Okay. So I'm going uh, to try another touch go. And something is not working with the maybe the, the, the ILS frequency is wrong, I don't know. Hmm. Let me take a look. I will check that. So the ILS frequency is 108.70, that's right, and the course is 244 actually. Okay. Maybe I forgot to confirm the frequency, I don't know. So let's do this turn here. And let's slow down to 200 knots. something missing here. I think all the fuses... I think they added repaints to the A330 as well, I think, yeah.
Okay, so let's see. Yeah, the circuit breakers are missing. That's right. I hope they... Looks a little bit weird here. And also this part here looks a little bit weird. I think they have copyright <laughs> issues here. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't know if you can load flight plans. I'm not sure. Maybe... Maybe you can load here. I don't know. I don't know, I can answer. Okay, so I'm going to slow down further to 170. looks a little bit too much to the left again actually so I think maybe there's something wrong with the ILS settings or I don't know this is wrong yeah it is wrong actually don't know what's wrong here So I'm going to reduce the speed to the final approach speed. Flaps 3. And I'm going to take over manual control now. And gear down. Yeah, I also think that it could be a, a, an error in FSX or prepared. You have to be very, very sensitive with the controls. When is... Yeah, now it's coming alive. Okay, so you can see. Going to correct now a little bit. Too high. Mm -hmm. 
auto marker. Runway not in sight, too high. a rather unstable approach again but I'm going to try it I want to try it 1000 ground spoilers are not armed that's good Light slow. yeah yeah whatever I'm too Light slow. this Light looks slow. way better now Light slow. 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 Still, I, 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 I am having problems getting Light this slow. roll movement out of the airplane when Light I'm doing slow. small corrections. Light slow. Light slow. Trying to correct more Light with slow. the rudder now. Maybe Light that will slow. work better. I'm a little bit off to the right. Light slow. Uh, to the left, I'm sorry. Um, whatever. I'm trying to correct that now. Getting better, getting better, getting better, getting better. 300. Yeah, whatever. Okay, it's getting better. I'm too high. Okay, I'm just a little bit off to the right now. Correcting with the rudder again. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, I cannot correct that. 100. Going around. Too low, gear. Too low, gear. Too low, gear. Ah, whatever. Too low, gear. Too low, gear. Too low, gear. Too low, gear. Hmm. This is not working well. Couldn't get her into stable approach, but maybe, yeah. Most probably that's my fault because I. As you know, I'm not a very good lander. Okay, so... Yeah, I guess I, I don't have any more time to show you more uh, touch and goes. So I'm just going to... I will try if that works. I'm going to reduce everything to idle. And I'm going to the gate once again in here in Schwerin. Let's take a look if this works. I hope it does. And so I have a few more minutes to show you the A340 and the uh, the A340-600 and the A330. So, select vehicle, A340. So, yeah, for you guys, I think that's the fitting option. So, here we have the A340-600 Lufthansa. Okay, and um, just for completion so that I have shown you everything, uh, actually they included the, A3 the A340 with the A330 package, that's just a kind of uh, a goodie if you want to keep it that way, if you want to call it that way. 
So um, let's take a look. Yeah, Qantas is good. So that's the that's the A330. So yeah, with the steering, uh, I'm not I'm not very. Mm. Not very satisfied with that, but that could be that could be me as well, guys. You know that I'm not a very good uh, uh, manual. <laughs> uh, I'm not very good at manual landing, so that could be me as well. So don't blame that on the add-on. Overall, I have to say that I had fun. No major bugs, and for the bug that I mentioned with the load manager, they already provided an, uh, uh, some updated files that I'm going to install now. Maybe I will be able to do another flight uh, today, another uh, live session. Uh, we will see. But for now, I thank you very much for watching this stream. And until we see us the next time, I wish you all happy landings.